Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth Rodriguez. I'm an environmental engineering major. I'll be transferring to UC Berkeley next semester, and I'm the student of the year 2014-2015. Hi, my name is Mauricio Antonio Marquez Palencia. I'm majoring in microbiology. I'm transferring to UC San Diego, and also I'm a student of the year 2014-2015. I had a friend that I took almost every single math class with me at Adrian Galicia. Um, he introduced me to the master program. I remember um, I was taking, we were taking Cal 1 with, Doc, with Professor Slingland and there was a, peop, a lot of people in front on the, fir, on the first row and they knew each other, they talked about to each other, they compared homework, they had a study group. So I just saw that they were just a big group of friends taking the same class. But then, later on, I found out that they were from the MESA program and that even my friend, he, was joined, a, he joined the MESA program that semester. So he told me about the MESA program and I decided to join the MESA program the following semester. In my case, I used to take classes at Southwestern College and I have uh, my best friend, Sergio Sandoval. He would come to City College while I was attending Southwestern and a couple of times we saw on the trolley and he told me about the MESA program at City College and he told me it was a very motivating place to study and um, to have many opportunities like internships, scholarships and after that I decided to come to City, take classes and join the MESA program. Um, how MESA has helped me? Well, I have to tell that um, the first semester that I, I was here, um, I failed my Chemistry 152 class. I was the first time I ever failed a class, and I felt depressed, I felt upset. I even think that engineering was not my thing. Um, but I still keep moving. So um, I was a, one of those students that go to class, go straight home, do their homework, and then go back to class the next day. I didn't talk to my peers, I didn't talk to my professors, I didn't do BPR, I didn't know about all those things. So when I joined the master program, I learned a lot of things. I learned BPR, I learned the big picture approach, I learned different strategies to do my homework, different strategies to manage my time. I learned about scholarships, I learned about internships, I learned about the common classes, the students that were taking the same classes with me. Um, I joined study groups, I learned about internships, and I even applied to internships. I got a scholarships as well. Um, I also learned about all the resources that the MESA website has. Um, they have the um, how to write your resume, how to write a cover letter, I also learn about workshops, and um, I also learn about NESPI, SWE, um, CHIP, and EMSA, and join those, those programs, those um, organizations. But um, what I think is important is that um, I, met, I got to meet a lot of people, uh, I got to expand my networking, and I got to meet a lot of professionals, and I became part of a family. In my case, are pretty much similar as Elizabeth. Um, I developed my professional skills with leadership, networking, and for leadership, I actually had opportunity to create the pre-med club through MESA, the American Medical Student Association Club, AMSA, where I used to be the president for two years. I also had the opportunity for research and internship opportunities. Uh, through MESA, I had um, workshops with the coordinators of those programs and I participated with Morse Cancer Center at UCSD, ULMSP at UCSD, MSTP and ERACTA. I also had opportunities with counseling. We have a counselor. It really helped for transfer students and I also helped me to find uh, strategies to study like BPR, big picture, variation, and other more. Also learned the African Village study that was very important for me. And 
last but not least, honor self-advocacy, which is fight for yourself. Uh, my first advice for the new MESA students, I would say be confident of what you're doing. Um, one time Raphael told me that in the MESA program we don't question commit, we don't question potential because we know that all the students have potential. We question commitment. So be confident, be ready to commit yourself to what you are going to do. Um, my second advice to you is take full advantage of all the resources the MESA program has. It could be time management workshops, it could be um, professional workshops, leadership workshops, um, all the help that are available through our website, uh, BPR, um, the big picture approach, early alerts, and also the um, progress report. My third um, advice for you is to join professional organizations such as SHE, the Society, the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, SWE, the Society of Women Engineers, MSA, NSB. Just join those organizations because they're going to open the doors for you to network with professionals and with industry. Also, my next advice for you is take full advantage of all the scholarships that City College has for you. There are a lot of scholarships and if you are if you can apply for 20 of those, apply for 20 of those. Finally, I my most important advice, I would say talk to your professors, talk to your peers, uh, network on your own and fight for yourself. From me, I recommend you and never be a victim, always be a creator. Be an open mind with opportunities because you never know those opportunities that will help you in your professional career in the future. Also, take a full, as Elizabeth was saying, take a full advantage of the MESA program with all the opportunities that we have scholarships, internships, research, um, strategies for study, and more. Also, I recommend you to have a good relationship with your professors. So you can have letters of recommendation for scholarships or for internships that will help you in the future. And as Elizabeth say, fight for yourself. And, and welcome, welcome to, to MESA. MESA! Hi everybody, my name is Elizabeth Rodriguez. I am an environmental engineer major. I'll be transferred to Welcome, Welcome to, to MESA. Mesa. Ah! <laughs> Do what? Do the introduction again? Or? What no. introduction? It's already recorded. Oh, so it's done? That's all. Oh, it's ready? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. You just go. Okay. okay. Um,